गाइस सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग अरुण कुलाटकर्स पोएम मीरा सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द पोएम दिस इज़ अ पोएम ऑफ अ लेडी हु इज हु इज़ अ क्लीनिंग लेडी टू अ कोकोनट फ्रोन टू द ड्राई लीव्स ऑफ कोकोनट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अ फुटलोज कोकोनट फ्रॉन्ड अ ड्रॉप आउट बोर्ड विद द लाइफ एट द टॉप विद नथिंग टू डू अप देयर एक्सेप्ट ट्विडल इट्स थ्री हंड्रेड फिंगर्स all day long and through the night or tickle the moon now and then so what we see here is that there is a coconut frond who is a drop out and it has uh, been dropped from the tree bored with the life at the top because uh, now first of all we see the personification personification of the coconut frond uh, considering that this coconut frond is now dead it is now dried and uh, still uh, the poet has personified this coconut frond which uh, which is a drop out bored with the life at the top the coconut frond could not find any uh, enjoyment at the top of the tree so now he is bored with the life at the top with nothing to do up there he had nothing to do up there up at the tree except twiddle its 300 fingers except move or uh, rotate his a uh, uh, it's 300 fingers all day long and through the night so he had nothing to do uh, uh, apart from twiddling its 300 fingers all day long and through the night he had nothing to do so now or tickle the moon now and then so when we see uh, when we look at a tree we can see the moon uh, through the tree so here the poet is trying to create that uh, image imagery so the view of a uh, moon appearing through the leaves can be seen as tickling the moon now and then so now uh, this po uh, poem is a great example of imagery because we can imagine everything while we read this poem so this is a imagery poem and looking for something a little more interesting and useful to do or useful to do so now he is looking for something that is more interesting or useful to do either he finds uh, something which is interesting interesting and useful or interesting or useful so now this coconut frond has befriended and attached itself to our lady of dead flowers so while we are coming across this concept of uh, late our lady of dead flowers we see that this uh, leaf has this frond has befriended Uh, to the uh, and attach itself to the lady of dead flowers so the lady, uh, lady of dead flowers is the cleaning lady the protagonist of this poem the cleaning lady and the and the use of this particular these particular words is often seen in the christianity because the mother is also seen as and portrayed as a lady of dead flowers because she is the lady of dead flowers she is the a uh, lady who is cleaning the dead flowers who is taking the dead flowers away so the sad eyed feminine half of the municipal street cleaning team in this part of town so she is in the team of uh, in this municipal street cleaning team who is cleaning this part of the town her eyes are sad she is portrayed as the sad eyed feminine so she is not obviously she is not happy with her job one can look at the sadness in her eyes sadness can be seen in her eyes so it's learning new tricks in her hand at her bidding so now the front has attached itself to the cleaning lady and now she has accepted the frond and now it's learning new tricks the frond is learning new tricks in her hand at her bidding so now whatever the cleaning lady does with the frond uh, the frond accepts it and is having all together a great time in the bargain and they both are seen to be having fun all together because now the uh, the frond has found something because now the frond has found something which is interesting he it it starts uh, helping the cleaning lady and the cleaning lady and the lady has found a new uh, tool to clean 
new tool or a new broom we will see to clean so now we will come to the next part of the poem she in turn finds it more lively more fun and just as if not more effective so now she uh, we have seen that front was having a good time with the lady now we are talking about the lady she in turn finds it more lively she now finds more life in the coconut front that dead coconut front than her uh, provided broomstick more fun and just as if not more effective so now she uh, just not uh, she is not just having fun with the uh, front but she is now finding it more effective this front broomstick that she has made now is a better option than her earlier broom broomstick with its longer reach and wider sweep because the front is a bigger leaf and it has longer reach it can uh, reach in longer places and wider sweep because it sweeps in wider sweep uh, in wider uh, sweeps so now than the regular broomstick so now we can see that she is now finding it more effective than the regular broomstick that she is provided the fan tail type the regular broomstick is fan tail type that comes with the job the job that she is doing the job the municipality has provided her with a fan tail type broomstick which she does not find suitable for the job which does not suit her so which she finds much too stiff and unbending so how she describes the uh, how uh, the broomstick is described it is described as much too stiff it is more than stiff and unbending it does not bend so now while the uh, broomstick cannot bend she has to bend to clean though it's preferred by her partner the man she works in tandem with so why she provided with the broomstick the fan tail type broomstick because it is preferred by her partner who is a male who is a man which is showing the patriarchy here that if a man is suitable uh, if a man is uh, happy with the provided broomstick then the uh, female would not be asked of her choices and so because it is a uh, uh, referred by the preferred by the uh, man that she works with she has to do the same job with the same stick so now it's a joy to see the coconut front clown around jump and dance so uh, we can see that uh, as she has made a new broomstick of her own the front broomstick she is now defying the uh, Uh, stereotypes the gender she is breaking the gender rules because she is now making her own broomstick and she is now uh, going to live with her own choices she is uh, she is working with her own choices she does not want to work with the unbending much too stiff and patriarchal society and the broomstick so it is a joy to see the coconut front clown around so it, uh, it is appearing as a joy because the coconut front uh, broomstick uh, broomstick is uh, clowning around fooling around jump and dance like a performing bear so we can see that uh, we have seen that uh, a performing bear jumps around dance around clown around uh, perform around so the uh, again the front is compared to a living thing a living being a bear so again we can see the personification and uh, here it is uh, provided with the imagery of performing like a bear a green one it runs ahead of her so while she is cleaning she is continuing with the uh, broomstick ahead of her so now the coconut front is ahead of her crossing and recrossing her path so while she is grooming she is grooming in a way like this so it is crossing her path and recrossing her path clearing the road before her so now it is very important to see that she uh, she has no one to clear the road before her she can she has no one uh, to clean before her so now there is the front that is clearing the road before her so now this is a very great point here so it circles around her it is circling around her it is twiddling around her so waltz over her from side to side it is uh, waltzing over from it is leaping uh, so waltz mean leap it is leaping over from her side to side Uh, one uh, one time it is on the left side one time it is on the right side stops when she stops uh, over here we see that uh, even if the bronze 
at the front is sorry the front is uh, personified still it is controlled by the only living being we can see here the lady so the lady controls the front the lady has no control over her life over her choices but now she can control the front which gives her uh, enough happiness that she can control the workspace she can control how she works with the front so it lunges and takes swipe, uh, side sweeps side swipes at errant scraps of paper so the broomstick the front broomstick it lunges it pounds over and takes side wipes at errant at errant errant is something which is arrogant so these arrogant scraps of paper that uh, moves around with the uh, swift top wind so it takes over the errant scraps of paper chases the riff raff of dry leaves of the road so now the lady is cleaning the road and she is trying to clear the road uh, which is filled with the errant scraps of paper which won't move uh, which won't uh, stay at a place and chases the, she chases the riff raff of dry leaves of the road with her front broomstick so these dry leaves all around the road are chased by are cleared by the lady with the broomstick with the front broomstick so we will continue in the next part for the remaining poem thank you guys for watching